Hello and welcome to Workspace ONE 101, a free video training course on how to quickly configure and deploy Workspace ONE as a standalone enterprise mobility management solution. This video is brought to you by UEM Authority. Let's get started. VMware Workspace ONE UEM integrates with Microsoft Azure Active Directory, providing a robust selection of onboarding workflows that apply to a wide range of Windows 10 use cases. Before you can use Azure Active Directory to enroll your Windows devices, you must configure Workspace ONE UEM to use Azure Active Directory as an identity service. Now, let's have a look at the prerequisites of integrating Workspace ONE UEM with Azure Active Directory. 1. Azure Active Directory with P1 and P2 subscription. 2. Workspace ONE UEM to use Azure Active Directory as a identity provider. 3. Admin access to Azure Active Directory and Workspace ONE. Enabling Azure Active Directory is a two-step process which requires the MDM enrollment details to be added to Azure. You must have a premium Azure Active Directory P1 or P2 subscription to integrate Azure Active Directory with Workspace ONE UEM. It's important if you are setting the current setting on the Directory Services System Settings page the LZAP settings must be configured and saved before enabling Azure Active Directory. From the Workspace ONE UEM console, click Groups and Settings. Then click All Settings. Click Systems. Click Enterprise Integration. Click Directory Services. Scroll down to enable Azure AD integration and click to enable it. To find the Azure Directory ID, head over to your Azure portal and then click on Azure Active Directory. On the left hand side, scroll down and click on Properties. There you will find the tenant ID. This is the directory ID. Copy the ID and then paste it into the Azure Active Directory ID input. Click on Use Azure Active Directory for Identity Service. Scroll down a little and note the MDM Discovery URL and the MDM Terms of Use URL. These will need to be entered into Azure Active Directory later on, so please keep them handy. Input the tenant name. Again, if you're unsure where to find this, please follow the hyperlink below. Once the configuration is complete, click Save. In the majority of cases, you will use the AirWatch by VMware application in the Azure Application Gallery. This application includes all permissions required for integration. If you have Workspace ONE UEM on-premises or dedicated SAAS environment, you will need to add the on-premises application as well. This is required to create trust between the UEM instance and Azure Active Directory. Now, you need to complete the settings in Azure Active Directory, so let's navigate to your tenants. Once on your tenants, scroll down and click on Mobility, brackets MDM and MAM, and click on Add Application. Click AirWatch by VMware, and finally click Add. Up the top, navigate back to the Mobility page. Click AirWatch by VMware. Now, using the information we noted earlier, paste both the MDM Terms of Use URL and the Discovery URL into the relevant inputs. Ensure the MDM User Scope is set to All. Once the configuration is complete, click Save. Well done! 
you have successfully integrated your Workspace ONE UEM with Azure Active Directories.